Hello everybody, um, today I'm going to be doing a quick overview of the Utouch retail software. So first we're just going to start off by opening the software. And as you can see here I'm already logged in as the cashier and the manager. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to log in as manager, my default password as one. Click login. And uh, as you can see here, I have two tickets that are open. And basically the tickets are the sales. So here, this one has been paid, and this one is still pending. And uh, basically what we're going to do is we're just going to do a, add an item. So we're just going to go to settings, aka back office. And then um, we're going to go to menu, which is to add all our items. So under men menu here, we can see that we already have like food and stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a new category for actual like retail item. So I'm just going to name it retail. And as you can see here, I have a, I can put a description, which I don't really need to do right now. And uh, here there's a menu group. But uh, for this item that I'll make, I'm just going to st stick to miscellaneous because it fits that description. Now on the menu item tab, this is where I add all the items. So I'm just going to add a new one. And uh, it'll be part of the miscellaneous group. And the color can stay blue. I'm going to name it retail item. And here you can see where you have to scan that barcode. So when you scan the barcode, all the numbers that go in there, I'll actually just input numbers manually. So I'll just do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And uh, here I can put the description. So you just double click the field and put in a description. So it'll just be retail item because that's just a test. And then I'll just click enter and the item is there. So now here you can see that you can add modifiers, which in, in the case of retail, it would just be sizes for the item. Um, so now basically when I have that saved, I'm just going to close this. And uh, if we look at settings here, you can see that there's a lot of different settings and they're pretty simple and uh, well organized. Here we have an, our employees, which the program can tell if it when they clocked in and when they clocked out, which is good and it saves you a lot of time and, and energy. And uh, over here you can see like you can organize the tickets, um, you can change the taxes, which we usually configure for you, and the printers and devices we usually configure for you when you purchase your system with Rescue Geeks. Um, you can see the software info and uh, you can back up everything. It's pretty much it's pretty easy and simple setup. So now I'm going to make a sale. So I'll just make a quick sale. And here you can see that it's set on the demo, which is alright. And uh, basically now what you'd want to do is you'd want to scan your barcode. I'm just going to put in the, the item that I made. And here it knows right away that it's a retail item. So I'm just going to make that sale. Cash, exact, enter. And basically, I just made the sale. It's, it's a really easy process to make a sale. So now I'm just going to exit this. And uh, over here, you can see the, the sale that I basically made right here. Just created a ticket. It's an easy way to just look over what you have done. So if I want to do reports, I just want to click on reports. And here it gives me a whole bunch of options of what kind of reports I want to see. I can see the employees clock in, clock out. So I can see this one right here. If I go back to reports, I can see the sales by the day, the month, and a whole bunch of other options like my overall sales, which is basically what I did overall. So I, I just I don't have that many, but this is what I have. And uh, over here you can see the rest of the options. You can open the cash drawer, your payment options, all these reports, and uh, you can do the quick sale and your other credit card options. And I mean, that's pretty much how simple the Utouch POS uh, restaurant, I mean, retail software is. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed the software.